Hello everyone, it's Brittany. I'm back again with another drawing video. This time I'm doing something inspired from Teen Titans. If you know me, you know that I love Teen Titans. I've loved it since 2003 when the OG Teen Titans was airing on Cartoon Network. And it's been essentially my hyperfixation since then. Um, I have just always loved drawing the characters of Teen Titans and recently my brother was nice enough to give me his login for HBO Max and I've been re-watching it and I decided to draw a piece of Starfire attempting to hang out with Raven or hanging out in their own way I guess I should say. So this piece was really really fun to do. So if you have a sketchbook or a drawing tablet I invite you to get it out and draw with me while we go through this process together. But firstly, I want to gush about the Teen Titans because I love Teen Titans. Okay, so if you haven't seen the original show, I do recommend that you give it a chance. Um, and this is why. The original show is a cartoon and it is a kid's show. However, it is not like Teen Titans Go. Um, if you have not seen it, it is on, it, it is on HBO Max and you can watch it on there. Um, the original show captures a darker it, it's still darker than um what you would really expect from a kid's show it covers depression the end of the world betrayal betrothals um not feeling up to your highest potential feeling like you're left out feeling like you don't belong feeling feeling all kinds of things it has emotion it has it has story it has heart and for a cartoon from 2003 to 2006 to be able to hold that much emotion into it on Cartoon Network is honestly amazing. It takes one of the best storylines in comic book history, the Judas Contract, and nails it down into a kid show, takes out some of the raunchier things, such as Tara being in the relationship with Slade, leaves that part out, but it brings that whole storyline into the Teen Titans show and incorporates it in such a way that it makes you feel things. And it's so good. When I was younger, I had a friend who was just as into Teen Titans as I was. And every Saturday when a new episode would premiere, we would talk on the phone while the new episode was on and we would sit on speaker and watch the episode together. We would talk during the commercials about what was going on with the episode, what we think would happen next, and it was honestly one of my core memories as a child, and um, I honestly really miss that kind of connection with someone that enjoys something as much as I do, because when I enjoy something, I enjoy it. I really just... It just means a lot to me, and I, and I know it's a show and it's kind of silly, but like... I I started collecting some of the 1980s comics that the show is based off of, um, and so I have some of those. I have the 2003 to 2011 Jeff Johns run Omnibus, which is a 1,400-page book. I had a, a bunch of the action figures when I was younger. I collected the, the um, card game. I was obsessed. I have a 1980s Raven cosplay costume which is honestly really freaking cool. Um, I just, guys, I love the Teen Titans. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, so now I'll talk about the art. So um, I really wanted to focus on lighting with this piece, especially with the uh, building. So I wanted to focus on lighting and perspective. That was my big thing with this one. I wanted to um, uh, really play around because I don't do a ton of perspective in my pieces so I wanted to make the um the the building like I wanted to make Teen Titans I, I wanted to make Titans Tower um look like it was you know in perspective of them with find them uh in the background and I really think I captured that quite nicely and then I wanted them to reflect off of the um the window in the background and I think I captured that quite nicely as well. I'm really quite pleased with the um with the blue lighting effect 
with the blue lighting effect that I have uh, shining off of uh, Starfire's outfit. And I'm quite pleased with how the um, lighting on the hair and everything else kind of turned out. I am honestly just super proud of how this piece ended up um, turning out. I'm um, really trying to get more comfortable with drawing interaction pieces and drawing characters that are doing things together rather than uh, just one character in like a portrait pose because I draw a lot of characters just standing there and um, I, I want to draw more pieces of characters telling a story rather than um, just a stagnant piece. So that's what I've been really trying to work on. And um, it's, it's just one of those things where you know, I'm really trying to set goals for myself as an artist and um, really grow. And um, with my journey of returning back to digital art, I've been really trying to um, expand on my capabilities as an artist. And I I've really feel like I've been doing that lately. And I've been so proud of what I've been creating lately. It's just been a lot of fun, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this journey with me together. It's just been, it's just been so much fun. I've been um, really trying to explore just a lot more um, styles and possibilities on what I'm able to create, and um, it, it, you know, it's it's just, it's just one of those things. I've been, I've been just having a lot of fun. Um, I can just feel the the inspiration kind of flow through me and um, I haven't felt like this in a while when it comes to art and um, it's it's just one of those one of those things <laughs> um, I'm running out of things to say but I have a minute left <laughs> um, to finalize the piece I wanted to focus on rim lighting so I went through and did some additional lighting aspects throughout the piece of yellow and then I uh, went ahead and um, added some additional details of hair strands and then I worked on the light bulbs as well and then worked on the uh, background a little bit more and then I made the reflections kind of glow a little bit more um, on the the window and then I added a curve of curve effect and then I added chromatic aberration as well to the piece and then added a snapchat filter to make it look like it's a snapchat piece so here is the final piece I honestly could not be more happy with it it looks like a snapchat picture and I just love it if you enjoy this type of artwork and you want to see more I invite you to subscribe my name is Brittany I'm an artist and I rainbow about my process and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.